With so many vacuum pumps to choose from, how can you make sure you're purchasing the right one for your job? Hi, it's Paul again. Most air conditioning systems today require a critical charge for optimal operation. This makes them very sensitive to moisture and other contaminants which can freeze up the system, corrode the metals, and sludge the oil. The cause of most problems and complaints when a system stops working. Therefore, it's extremely important to remove moisture with a quality vacuum pump before the critical charge takes place. A vacuum pump lowers the pressure inside of the system to below atmospheric pressure, causing water vapor to boil off and vent to the atmosphere. The contaminants from the system being evacuated end up in the vacuum pump's oil. So it's necessary to frequently change your vacuum pump oil for peak pump performance. You know why you need a vacuum pump, but what size do you need for the jobs you perform on a regular basis? Pumps are rated in CFM, or how many cubic feet of air they move from the system per minute. The faster air moves, the faster you'll reach the vacuum specified by the system manufacturer. A general rule of thumb is to take the square root of the tonnage of the system you're servicing to determine the CFM rating you need for that particular system. For example, 16 to 25 ton systems, typical for a residential air conditioning system, would evacuate efficiently with a 4 or 5 CFM pump. For 36 to 64 ton systems, which are found on most rooftops of commercial buildings, a 6 or 8 CFM pump would be ideal, and so on. Do you really need a large pump for a small job? Well, consider this. An 8 CFM pump will get you to 100,000 microns more quickly than a 4 CFM pump. But once you reach 100,000 microns, all pumps will work at approximately the same speed, regardless of the CFM rating. On the flip side, we don't recommend using too small of a pump on a large system, as that will most likely result in premature wear of your pump. Other considerations to take into account when selecting a vacuum pump include a large oil fill opening, which will make oil changes a lot faster and easier, a gas ballast feature, which allows atmospheric air to enter the pump and mix with the exhaust gas, preventing moisture from condensing in the pump oil and keeping oil cleaner longer on wet system evacuations. A built-in vacuum indicator, so you know exactly when it's time to start using a micron gauge. And an isolation valve that allows you to isolate the pump from the system without losing vacuum. Finally, make sure the vacuum pump you select has a stable base and isn't too heavy for easier portability. That's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.